For the third time in four years, Creighton men's basketball is in the Sweet 16. I'm Kelsey Mannix at Creighton, where I talk to fans as the Jays headed off to Detroit. <laughs> Creighton gave some fans a little scare Saturday against Oregon. I was so relieved. It was just, I was up and down, and we're down four, and there's less than a minute left and I'm going, oh no, it's just gone. And, and then the boys just brought it all back. Now the focus is the Sweet 16, which longtime Jays fans have grown accustomed to seeing. They're playing at a high level, which is fun. Um, it's just, it's great to be a fan this time of year and I'm excited for the guys. I can't wait. After all these years, it's, it's neat. My, my little school is, is there. It's something that friends from around the country get to see and, and it's really kind of important to me. And after last year's Elite Eight appearance, once again, there's high hopes. A win over Tennessee means a matchup with either Purdue or Gonzaga. I'd like to see them hard again, so I hope it's Gonzaga, but Purdue is just, oh, tough and mean. It's, let's face it, it's, it's tough. Young fans, on the other hand, are already thinking ahead. To make it to the Final Four. To win the whole competition. <laughs> the game's pretty late on Friday. Is it past your bedtime when the game starts? Are you going to stay up and watch it? Yes. yes. <laughs> Tip off against Tennessee just after 9 p.m. Friday on TBS. Covering the Jays, Kelsey Mannix, 3 News South Sports.